Hitchens from Atlas Cops and Kids, the 18-year-old in the gold corner, and Christian Coakley, 17-year-old, the product out of Man East, BC. Strong, stiff jab here from Richardson. Yeah, Hitchens is what I like to call a game and gritty fighter, and he's tough for an 18-year-old. He's just solid, all around just a solid fighter. Absolutely, I love these combinations by both these guys, especially Hitchens. We might get a standing aim in this one early on between Hitchens and Coakley as the crowd's starting to rise to their feet. Early in round number one at the Barclay Center. Beautiful right hand by Hitchens here. He's landed that punch about three or four times, comes right down the pipe. There it is again. Body shot by Hitchens, snaps that left jab, pushes back Coakley. Straight right again, downstairs. Body shot again by Hitchens. How do you weather the storm early on if you're Coakley? I think right now if you're Coakley, you don't want to trade punches like this. You're losing this battle. I think you step back a little bit, you gather yourself, and you try to find that range that works for you. Hitchens right now teeing off. A lot of shots up top. You know, sometimes as a fighter that adrenaline's running, you get hit, you want to just stay in the pocket and keep firing. But the key to this game is hit and don't be hit. Coakley momentarily finding a home, fighting in the pocket with some body shots. Straight right again by Hitchens. Countered up top with a left. Body shot again, liver shot with a right. I love that jab to the body by Hitchens. Sets up everything up top, that strong jab down to the sternum. Beautiful right hand up top there, knocks Coakley back. Richardson Hitchens with a right down the boulevard, felt down here at the table. It's only so many times you can take that kind of right hand. Let's see what happens here if he jumps right on him again. We got a minute left in this round. Hitchens has beaten Coakley several times in the amateur ranks. Came in with a lot of confidence. I love that Hitchens came out composed, threw a couple feints in there. That's a very mature move, not to just come out and throw bombs right away when you got your guy hurt. Under 30 to go in this. Just really just wonderful, brilliant performance thus far in round number one by Richardson Hitchens. See if Coakley can just withstand this onslaught. Already absorbed one standing eight. He's very game though, Coakley. He's not backing up from this power whatsoever. Now, had a huge win against Tristan Johnson to make it into the finals, and Johnson's a very good fighter in his own right. Good action in one. It's rare that you see that type of action early on, but that was a dominant first round, a dominant opening round by Richardson Hitchens. It really was. You know, Coakley fancies himself as an excellent counter puncher, so you need to be careful not to just get stuck in that mode. You need to change what you're good at, what you're not good at. You need to adapt in the fight. That's what the greats do, and I think he needs to get away from this counter punching a little bit, step back, and maybe not get hit with so many shots. There's that beautiful right hand again by Hitchens, another beautiful right hand. We saw that standing eight count as he goes to the body, downstairs, upstairs, really just working all elements of his game right now. And, and really the, the MO on this young man was fast hands and experience. We saw it in round number one. I mean, that, that's a situation where you talk about overwhelming an opponent early on, and to Coakley's credit, withstanding that now, you know you lost that round, you know you're beaten up a little bit, your mindset has to be, okay, he threw a lot, I took some of these punches, I mm -hmm. can't absorb standing eight, but I might have to get in there and engage. How's it gonna play out around them too? Definitely, as a fighter, you know, he's still standing. You gotta come back with your swag, your confidence. It's a brand new round. One punch can change a fight, so if you're Coakley, you stay confident, stick to your game plan, but just try to use the little... Oh, mercy, another straight right! Coakley fighting back too. These right hands are landing all day. Christian Coakley showing tremendous heart and spirit. Eating a lot of punches, but still fighting on. Coakley tried to mix up a left up top. You can almost see Hitchens kind of baiting him with that left. 
just setting up for that straight right. Absolutely. Phenomenal footwork, too. Watch Body him step shot. with these punches. Beautiful, stable footwork. That's really where the power comes from. Body shots again, straight right again. Being worn, a little below the belt line. Looked like a clean shot from our view. Coakley with a right of his own, firing back. Look at the body language of Hitchens. He's very relaxed, very composed. Very impressive for this 18-year-old. 18-year-old student from Brooklyn, defending champ at 141. Impressive performance thus far, a round and a half in this slated three-round affair that will decide 141 in the open class. Ooh, good lead right hand by Coakley. I like that he mixed it up. Coakley shown tremendous guts, tremendous spirit. Ooh. Absorbed the combination, came back with a counter left at Coakley. Hitchens certainly found a home for that right. This kid Coakley's a tough kid. He's been getting hit with everything in the kitchen sink. He's still standing. Hitchens soft jab to the body. One thing you like, too, about Hitchens, not getting too lax, not getting too relaxed. Right, absolutely. He's still got his gas on the pedal. His pedal on the gas, rather. <laughs> Give Coakley credit, absorbed a lot of punishment in round number one, showed a lot of guts and heart in round number two, took a lot of, a lot of shots, just high volume of punches by Hitchens with a little shoe shine to close out round number two. Is this one of those fights where, look, if you are Richardson Hitchens, who is just active in each round, we'll take a look at some of the action in round number two. I'll get your thoughts. There's that beautiful right hand that knocked him back. I think he just set the tone again. That jab to the body that I mentioned earlier sets everything back up top. And you can't quite see in this replay, but his footwork is phenomenal. Look at his footwork right here. He's always in balance. That's where that power comes from. If your feet are intact, you can throw any punch you want. It's when you get off balance that you can limit yourself with your punches. Very experienced fighter here. Very impressed. I also think, again, familiarity as well. He's beaten his opponent several times. That's why he comes on with a little swagger and a little confidence. And conversely, when you look at Christian Coakley, it's almost like going to the playoffs every year and getting bounced by the same team. Sometimes mentally you think, man, I just can't get over that hump. Absolutely. We'll see what he's got here, what he's got left in the tank in this third round. Well, what he certainly doesn't lack is heart. The 17-year-old in the blue, Christian Coakley from Mendez, BC, a student from upstate New York, taking a lot of punishment, but not wiltering under the bright lights here at the Barclays Center. Ooh, straight right by Coakley. Best punch of the night. Trying to get inside. Counter right again. Two counter rights by Hitchens. Coakley still throwing some beautiful counter shots there. He slipped in. Just didn't do much to Hitchens. See Hitchens kind of set them up. Soft, soft jab to the body. Absolutely. It's really important to mix that up. Not every punch has to be a home run punch. That's really where you get tactical and you can hurt a guy in boxing. So when you mix up your punches, you go soft, soft, hard, then back to soft. That way you really don't know what's coming in. You don't know which one's a hard punch, which one's a soft punch. You mix up the tempo, you mix up the speed. That's exactly what Richardson Hitchens is doing right now. He's done it to near perfection this evening. About 47 to go, third and final round. I was just about to say, look for the straight right hand as he lean back on that right foot. See if Christian Coakley can muster up some offense. You can see the difference in footwork. Absolutely. Mentioned, mentioned not being a stationary target. I'd like to see Coakley's left hand up a little bit too. He's been getting hit, been getting hit by those right hands all night. You can see he's kind of mirroring Hitchinson. 
Sometimes you get in trouble doing that. Good body shot again by Hitchens. It's almost like a tell in cards. Little opening there in the cracks of that window. Just a little bit of an opening. Good body shot by Coakley. Great body shot. This kid's so game. I love it. Great fight here. A lot of action. Yeah, this is a great fight. Both fighters in phenomenal shape, too. The technique has not faltered in this third round. Coakley standing toe-to-toe, -to -toe, taking some punches, but also he connected tonight. Hitchens goes back up top. Another straight right by Hitchens. Under 30 to go this third and final round. Body shot again. They're swinging away. They both sense there's about 10 seconds left in this fight. See how these two end with a flurry. Ooh, beautiful left hand. Great fight. That's a good fight. That's a good fight. It certainly looks like Hitchens will walk away with the win, but how about the guts and the heart of Coakley? Guts and heart, and the fight fans really appreciate that here. This well has been deserved. the loudest we've heard it all night. Well deserved. Excellent fight. We'll come back with the decision right after this. Welcome back as we are set for the decision between Richardson Hitchens and Christian Coakley. A great affair. We'll make it official. We'll go to Kevin Van Meter. Let's hear it for our boxers in the ring. Great job. The 141 pound open champion is from the gold corner, Richardson Hitchens. We talk about young, rising, amateur boxers on the New York scene. It might be overstated, but you watch this young man and you almost get the sense that he's gonna be a fixture on the New York boxing scene for years to come. I'm not sure if he has pro aspirations, but the bottom line is uh, he's a very impressive and complete fighter. Very impressive fighter. I mean, and like you mentioned, we're not sure about his pro aspirations, but I think he's a kid who in a couple years could be pro ready. A very talented fighter, counter punches, comes in, comes out, footwork phenomenal. It's what you really like to see if you're gonna rise up to those pro ranks. Another title for the 18-year-old student from Brooklyn, the defending champ, wins it again this year here at the Golden Gloves.